going on folks? I'm about to show you how you'd be changing out your cabin air filter in a um, Chevy Impala. It's probably the same for about the 2000 to about the 2013. Look, your cabin air filter pretty much is located right up underneath here where your windshield wipers and stuff at. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and kind of turn your vehicle on just to get your windshield wipers to sit up. That way you can get access to your cabin air filter. I'm going to show you that now. Okay, so basically what I just did was was just kind of move, turn my windshield wipers on just to get them to pretty much um, go up so it's out your way. So what you're going to be removing is this rubber piece, well, this plastic piece right here, or just lifting it up. First thing you're going to want to do is go ahead, you'll see this rubber piece, you kind of just want to pull up on it like that, you know, kind of come up. You ain't got to take it all the way off, maybe take it about to, to this point right here. And once you do that, you'll see you have these little rubber pieces right here that you kind of take like a flathead screwdriver and kind of go up underneath it and pop out like I'll show you. Like, see how I'm just popping these up and out like that. I'm going to show you up close the way these come out. is this little piece right here kind of goes inside of there and it's down like that so you just take your screwdriver flathead and kind of just kind of twist it in like that until you get it up a lot of times you'll pull that piece out first and then pull that piece out and now you'll have another one of these you got to pull out which will be show you the other one which will be right over here you'll have another one right here you want to take out do the same thing just take your screwdriver pop the head of it up and once you get the top piece out, then sometimes you come behind it and just take your screwdriver and kind of pop it out like that. Once you have that one out, and then once you have those two out, now next what you're going to want to do is come right here. You'll see this little screw thing. You just take your flathead screwdriver. It's kind of just unscrews. Yeah, like that. Just kind of screw it. Once you get that loose, that'll come out. And once you've done that, you should have your hose right here, which is basically just where your um, so this, this, this hose right here. A lot of times, it's just where your windshield, <coughs> excuse me, where your windshield wiper fluid comes at. You just kind of pop that up like that. Move that back. Pop it up right here. Kind of move that kind of out the way some. Then what you can do is just come right here and kind of lift up like that did right here. You can lift up on this piece and that piece will pretty much come out the way. And if you now if you come over here to the side, you should be able to see right down here. Actually, this car doesn't have the cabin air filter inside of it, but your air filter will sit right in this spot right here. It should sit like flat, like a piece of paper, just like that in that hole. See, if you look close down there, you can see the fan. That's actually my blower motor fan right there that I'm spinning. That's your fan. So your cabin air filter should sit right here. And if your cabin air filter gets really dirty a lot of times, you can have a problem with your air not coming out as strong, as well as you can have an issue with when you turn your, air, your AC or heat on that it could have dust and stuff like that blowing out of it and also cause issues with allergies or something like that if this air filter gets really dirty. And as you can see, this one doesn't have any in it, which is bad because that means that sometimes water and stuff like that can go down now into your fan and short your fan out. So if you're having an issue with, say, multiple times that you keep having to change out your blower motor, you may want to check to make sure that you have your cabin air filter inside of your vehicle. Because if you don't, as you can see right here, just an open spot. Let me get you a little closer look at it. Yeah, if, if you don't have it, you can see kind of just down in there. See how you can see your fan? That's actually a blower motor right there. That basically, there's nothing that's supposed to be a, a filter right on top of it. Sitting inside of those little, see right here, it's like a little, a little spot where your cabin air filter is supposed to sit right on top like this and that's what blocks a lot of the dust and debris and stuff like that from getting down inside of your your cabin air basically inside of your cabin to where you turn your AC and heat on 
you don't want to have dust and all that going down the side. All right, folks, so once again, this is how you would change out your cabin air filter in a Chevy Impala. It's probably the same for about the 2000 to about the 2013. And like I said, you can see right here, that's where it should go at. This one actually doesn't have any inside of it, which is why you can look down, you kind of see a leaf already inside of your blower down there, which means water and all that can get in there too, that can short it out. So this is how you change it out. You just basically come outside your car, remove this piece over here from it, and you can get access to it. Normally your cabinet air filters run around $19 or something like that for this vehicle, but it's very important to have that just because you don't want to breathe in dust and all that inside of your vehicle, as well as if you have an issue with allergies. All right, folks, please check out our other helpful videos. Please subscribe, like, and share. Thanks.